Today we will take a look at the best 3D printer for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below. Before we start make sure you click subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get started. 5. Anycubic Cobra 2 Anycubic Cobra 2 an excellent choice for beginners. The Cobra has a simpler look with a chunky, bold colored plastic chassis around its extruder. The size of the build area is at 9.8 by 8.7 by 8.7 inches and it weighs 18.5 pounds, the build plate is both scratch resistant and wear resistant. The printer's base holds the power supply and supports the carriage on which the build platform can move in and out, similar to other open frame 3D printers. A 4 to 3 aspect ratio LCD touchscreen panel fastens to the right side of the printer. The front of the printer features a USB-C port, as well as an SD card slot. The overall feel reminds me of a toy with extra material added to protect it from careless handling, though the extra bulk doesn't make it feel noticeably stiffer. The Cobra 2 comes with something called the LeviQ 2.0 automatic leveling system, which is supposed to manually adjust the Z-axis offset. Anycubic's touchscreen interface features four options, Print, Prepare, Tools, and System. The Tools option allows you to adjust speed, tweak temperature, and even turn the motor on or off, and System allows you to change the language. The Cobra 2 comes with a small starter coil of filament, enough for one or two prints. 4. Anycubic Cobra 2 Max The Cobra 2 Max is a supersized printer with an amazing amount of speed that you can't use if you want quality prints. The Anycubic Cobra 2 Max is a massive improvement over its predecessor, the printer does offer Wi-Fi connectivity, but only if you use the Anycubic Slicer and mobile app. This machine is freaking huge. With a big 420 by 420 by 500 build volume, this Max is great for cosplay props like helmets and perhaps whole shields. The Cobra 2 Max is easy to assemble. It ships mostly assembled in two large sections and only needs a handful of screws and bolts to assemble. The Anycubic Cobra 2 Max looks very similar to the Cobra 2, with a better front-mounted blower that's become a design feature on the hot end. Noticeable improvements over the previous model are a metal PEI flex plate for easy print removal and a direct drive. The Cobra 2 Max has an antenna for Wi-Fi, but it can only be used with the Anycubic Slicer and app. This is a good fit for prop makers and cosplayers who want to make large costume pieces without needing to slice up their printers. It's a big improvement over the previous Cobra Max, and much faster. 3. Bamboo A1 Mini Combo This printer is designed for people who've never used a 3D printer. Setting up the printer is easy as setting up a traditional paper printer. The idea of a printer this size is to entice people into the hobby in the hopes they will expand their horizons for something bigger, like the P1S, also from Bamboo Lab. The build plate is smaller, just 180 by 180 by 180 millimeters, this isn't a limiting factor. Bamboo has added a mystery gift to each A1 Mini you buy. It could be four different things. The Bamboo Lab's A1 Mini is nothing more than groundbreaking when it comes to features and price, blending robust performance, excellent print quality, accuracy. A quad filament option and a beautifully designed touchscreen interface. The printer's price point and ease of use make it well suited for beginners, although no enthusiast would be disappointed with the outstanding quality and speed of the prints. Complementing these features is a handy, albeit not smartphone responsive, touchscreen that offers an easy to navigate user interface. 2. Prusa MK4 The MK4 has much the same shape and design as the MK3 with a lot of refinement. The frame of the four Malawian quatches is thicker aluminum than the MK3, adding stability, something that is needed when you're accelerating at the speeds these machines now run at. The MK4 also features a whole new extruder system, called the Nextruder, that uses a dual gear system to control the flow of materials. You will be impressed with the quality of the prints on the four Malawian quatches, and you will be happy to see that even when you print at high speeds, it maintains the quality that we expect from Prusa Research. The organic support structures that Prusa Slicer uses are nothing short of miraculous and have all but eliminated the scarring that used to occur when printing with supports. While it has both Wi-Fi and an Ethernet port, both of them require another piece of software to run other than the slicer, making them complicated. Prusa has kept its open source roots with the MK4, something that we can all appreciate. This has given birth to some amazing projects, college papers and life-saving techniques, 
and I think that open source printers will always have a place. 1. Bamboo Lab P1S Bamboo Lab again produced a near-perfect printer that impressed us with its speed, quality, and ability to handle a vast array of materials. The Bamboo Lab P1S comes with everything you need to get your printer set up, as well as a few extra parts. You get tools to maintain the printer, a spare hot end, two spare nozzle wiping pads, and a micro SD card. The printer's highly sensitive auto bed leveling system makes for a perfect first layer. There is no way or even need to adjust the Z height. After a few minutes of auto calibration the printer just works. All the printer's parts are custom and need to be purchased directly from Bamboo Lab. The web store appears to cover every part, from thermistors to belts, so at least customers you don't have to worry if third-party parts will fit. While most things work fine in sport or ludicrous mode, not all materials can melt fast enough to keep up with these speeds. There's also a backup option for the AMS which will allow it to automatically switch from one slot to the next instead of tripping a run-out sensor.